Alright, let's be honest about this. We have a big problem. Was I the only one who was taught about some coffee bean crisis in South America? Or about some member of parliament with a wig being thrown out of the window in the 1600s? While well, the only thing that I wasn't taught is what really matters. How to make money, how to multiply it, save it, and how to make it a lifestyle. But why? Like many of us, I've been all throughout the system of traditional education and I learned one thing. Education really starts out there. Not at school, not at university. And no, I don't mean it in a spiritual Jack Curasac sort of way. I mean it literally. Because let's say it, education in the US used to be the Olympic gold medal of educations. But now, our system is pretty obsolete. And it probably costs like a condo in Barcelona. So whether you already went to college, or if you're going to college, if you want to make money and turn it into a lifestyle, let me tell you the main rules and tricks and how education has taught you to be poor. Big time. Right, Kai? Kai? That's right, Harry. Now, if I had a kid, I would explain and break it down, let's say the rules of life and business into four main teachings. Basically, it's knowledge that would take them all the way to adulthood and all the way to making a half a million dollars off their first real estate purchase. And I know what you're thinking. That's what an MBA does. Well, far from it. Why? Not only because it doesn't cost like an airplane, but because it doesn't matter what job you have, whether you're a banker, an architect, or whether you make vases with clay, these rules are universal, no matter the lifestyle or job that you have. Basically, these four rules make your lifestyle. Hey Harry, why don't you take this today, but first explain to them the huge crack that we have in our education system. I'll check back in with you in here in a little bit. Uh, uh, okay. Well, in America right now, the median salary is approximately $40,000. Then the average student loan debt is $37,000. The average credit card debt is $6,000. And the median bank account balance is only $5,300. Not looking spectacular. On top of that, the average home price is $321,000. That's a major gap. But that's not it. We have another, even bigger crack. Oh yeah, tell him that story, Harry. It's a good one. Now, Kai started thinking about these rules because it's that time of year where property tax is due. And he realized that nearly 40% of his annual tax bill goes towards education. I know, Merry Christmas. So Kai wanted to see what kind of investment education really is. He dug a little and found that it costs taxpayers and students roughly a quarter a million dollars to get each kid from kindergarten through undergraduate school. Yeah, that's right. 250k and just to get a student through high school it costs taxpayers 120k that's an insane amount of money and to get these results and this average salary let's say it it's a bad investment sure it's fun you meet people you get to wear hawaiian shirts and take interesting courses we've been there but the financial downsides are too many and the problem they don't teach you how to achieve your financial goals and lifestyle so what would i teach my kid and where would i tell them to go learn it let's start with the what first now if you were a farmer and let's say that you produced two bags of coffee beans each year. And then someone came along and took half your supply. So basically one whole bag they just took from you. Wouldn't you be at least a little bit curious to know why and if there was any way for you to stop that person from taking half of your inventory? And that's why tax education is essentially about protecting yourself. And the beauty is that not knowing taxes is not only about playing defense, but also maximizing your income. And you can think of it as if you wrote yourself a massive check back to yourself. And this can be done in a legal way. Carrie, please share with them as I finish making my coffee. You got it, mate. Kai really wanted a new truck because, you know, he has that beat up 96 Tacoma that he lovingly refers to as the mean green. So the other night, Kai ran some quick numbers with his tax accountant, Kevin and realized it'd be far more advantageous for him to buy a new vehicle before year end than to write a big check to the government. So just a few hours ago, Kai went and purchased a brand new truck and upgraded to this 2022 Tacoma. And the best part is currently financed at 2.74% with no cash out of pocket. This 50K truck will literally cost Kai nothing. That's just a little example. 
But imagine the tax advantages when we start talking about land and properties. More on that in future videos, or at kaiandrew.com. And feel free to hit up our tax pro friend Kev. His email's below. It's said that if you deal with people and money, you're a business person. Amen to that. Unfortunately, not everybody knows that, and that's why a lot of people are taken advantage of, or they leave loads of money on the table. Now, whether you're a janitor or a neurosurgeon, you work within a system that revolves around business principles, and you cannot escape this. But a few basic principles can set you free. And this is what Kai likes to call the holy trinity, unit economics, customers, and free cash flow. Grasp these and you'll be able to not only create your company, also move up within your company. Even if you live in the woods searching for the meaning of life and you live off of berries, basic understanding of leadership can make the path to fulfillment a lot easier. Why? Well, most people believe that a leader is the person up there, making a speech and smiling in a blue suit. It's time to say it, it's bullshit. It's not true. Whether you're Julius Caesar or an introvert office worker, a true leader is someone that has their own thoughts peacefully in order and can organize their actions in pursuit of a clear goal. I know that's a bit Tony Robbins-y, but many people, Introverts and extroverts have accomplished great things because of their leadership skills. Two books Kai recommends are Leading on the Edge and Wooden on Leadership. Links in the description. Now, the lack of discussion on real estate inside of schools is absolutely mind-blowing to me. In Maslow's hierarchy of needs, shelter is right there at the foundation next to food and sleep. And yet, around the world, especially in the US, it can be the hardest thing to obtain whether you rent or purchase. And for some reason, schools refuse to educate us on this topic. What the f Nothing about credit score, interest only versus fixed rate, closing costs, condo versus single family homes, nothing. This is detrimental to our society because for every student, right after school, finding a home to live in will be their primary focus. And on top of that, real estate is the fastest and best way for the masses to accumulate wealth. And not teaching even the basic principles is depriving people of a great opportunity. Hey Harry, for the last one, you should tell them where I tell my kids to go learn all this stuff. That'd be a good one, don't you think? Thanks for helping out on this video. Yeah. I'm getting there, Kai. Lastly, where can I tell my kid to learn this? Again, the beauty is that it doesn't cost nearly as much as a formal education and is much better than any institution. There are tons of resources online, from articles to videos and proper courses. The knowledge is just out there, and so many people are willing to share their experience and results. Kai actually teaches and focuses on these rules as part of his business and land hacker program, and it'll be opening up for enrollment soon. But whether it's with Kai or another qualified teacher, you just need to search a little for it. The real challenge is more about finding legit teachers and avoiding the scammers. So if you're interested in land hacking, replacing your income with one property and short-term rentals, then Kai is your guy. But if you're looking at wholesaling or creative financing, Pace Morby is awesome. If you're just looking at learning more about real estate and see how others are doing it, Bigger Pocket is a wonderful channel for you. And if you want the glamping expert, go for Rowbuilt. Personally, Kai's goal is for clients and students to be able to walk away and make at least 10 to 20 times the money paid for any of his programs within the next 24 to 36 months. I know, if only our education system worked that way. Well, lots of cool stuff coming up in the next couple of months, so be sure to subscribe and I hope you'll join us in the next launch of the Land Hacker program. Cheers, thanks Harry. Oh, and if you guys like this video and you like Harry, please comment down below and let me know if you like this style. Otherwise, I'll have to get rid of Harry. See you in the next video. Bye.